Welcome back to the channel. I remember I told you guys that I had a bug bite and I just want to also confirm that it is in fact a bug bite. I just happen, happened to pick it. So that's why this looks silly, but my skin looks so freaking good. I'm going on a trip, which you guys already know. These things take time, you guys. So today is actually the day before my trip and I'm just going to lounge around and have a self-care packing day as well. I'm not going to work out because I got a Brazilian blowout. You can see, look at how long that is. Like, is that not insane? I feel like I should cut my hair soon. I don't know if it like really looks that long. Is this long hair? Would you consider this long hair? Like how much longer can it, oh my God. That's insane. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. Okay. So I got a Brazilian blowout. If you don't know what that is, it's basically for people like me that have lion's manes. I look like Hagrid if I don't get them. And it is so humid and so disgusting here. I love being with my friends and family, but this weather? I'm also wearing Skims, literally obsessed. This is the classic cotton collection, which I'm sure you know and love. I have it in white as well, but I finally got the black. I'm obsessed with their tank tops because I can wear them to like lounge around, but I can also just like throw on jeans with this as well. And then this is actually my new favorite bra. I have a bunch of Skims bras. Oh my God, this one, it doesn't have a clasp in the back. It just like goes on like this. Literally Kim Kardashian, thank you for your service. Also like my body skin is super dry, so that's why I put on the little cotton biker shorts because I'm just gonna like hike them up and do a little necessaire. This is literally the secret to life itself. Obviously these two you guys know I love, but if I like am taking a break from some self tanner, this is the new body oil fragrance free, which I love because then I can mix my signature scent with it. Let me brush my teeth and get my life together for a second little biker short action. I got a few new things from Skims because I like, I just need loungewear that I can take from the inside of the house to the outside of the house and still looking cute. And I'm really, really excited about this like fits everyone collection because I saw it on Instagram and I was like, yay, neutrals, but then you feel it. Oh my God. And this one's like a chocolate bodysuit, but it just like looks like so simple and so chic. And you can like literally wear this for anything. I had girlfriends over last night and I literally just wore this black little set and then went to bed in it because that's how I live my life. But I'm telling you guys, you need the Fits Everyone collection because it's insane. Like the underwear is literally the most amazing thing in the world. And like, I'm not gonna try on the underwear for you guys, but I'm obsessed with it. So I'm really excited about all the new skin stuff I got. I even got more of the white cotton collection because it's like my absolute all time favorite. <sighs> I have my life together when I'm wearing skins. Other things that I got, three new books. This one is called How to Do the Work by Dr. Nicole LaPera. I haven't started reading it yet, but she's one of my favorite people to follow on Instagram. She's the holistic psychologist on Instagram. I think this will be really interesting and probably thought provoking for the podcast. Then this book is Sally Hepworth, The Good Sister, and she is the one that wrote The Mother-in-Law. If you haven't read The Mother-in-Law yet, oh my God, it's absolutely one of my favorites. There's The Mother-in-Law and then there's also one called The Other Woman. Different authors, but you know, all these books have like similar titles. Those are two really good ones. And my friend Jackie said that she liked this better than The Mother-in-Law. And I feel like it's gonna be really, really, really good. I didn't even like read what it was about. I just trusted the author and Jackie. And then this, I shockingly haven't read. Eldon Hildebrand wrote The Perfect Couple, which is one of my all time favorite books. If you haven't read that, you must. And this is the first one of a trilogy, right? Oh no, did I buy the wrong one? Oh my God, you guys, this is the last one. Conclusion. <sighs> no. Three new reads. You're probably wondering why I haven't been using my Kindle. And like, sometimes I just get out of the swing of things and I like to switch it up and whatever. The only thing I have packed for my vacation thus far is skims and books, which if I was staying at home would be perfect and all I need.
got home yesterday. My birthday was yesterday. We had to get out of the South Carolina area because of the hurricane and I was just like, I know it's my birthday, but I just wanna go home and relax, get comfy. And so I got up this morning, I worked out, got some work done. I'm going to just have a relaxing early evening and just like get my life back on track, which is one of my favorite things to do. And it's very easy to do when you just generally take good care of yourself. So then you don't feel like so out of balance. It's more of just like all of those mood boosters. So I'm wearing the Skims cotton collection right now. Literally, I was putting on their Fits Everybody underwear, which you can see is insane. It is literally as soft as butter. And I was like, should I even put this on right now? Because I should wear it over the weekend to not waste it. And then I was like, Lauren, you can do laundry. I just like re-pierced this ear with this like little diamond earring. And then I got this new little diamond earring, both from the last line, super cute. I'm basically just gonna like unpack. And then after I go on vacation, I had a celery juice this morning and then I'm just gonna have, and I'll do like a nice, like yummy, like salad or something for dinner. Cause especially after like being on the plane, like in the altitude and stuff, I feel like I'm always like really, really bloated and feel really gross. So I like to basically just like scrub everything from vacation away from like the inside out. So I just exfoliated in the shower and I put on the necessary body lotion and body serum. And then I'm gonna self tan later because while I was gone, I ordered more deep bloat pills and I ordered more self tanner because I like wanted to have it meet me here. I did some purple shampoo because I was in the sun and in the ocean this weekend. So I'm hoping it takes like a little bit of the brassiness out. Honestly, what I have to unpack isn't really that much. I've gotten like pretty good at not overpacking. I wanna just do like a massive skincare situation because like I feel like a little clogged from like sweating in the sun, being on the airplane. And I think I've already decided to just blow dry my hair and get it over with at some point. When you have this much hair, it's like not fun to do. See you in 15 hours when I'm done brushing my hair. Okay, before I do my skincare, I'm gonna do a little dermaflash, which is essentially just shaving your face. I haven't done it in a really long time. I've been getting regular facials and I've been taking good care of my skin. I did get a little sun, so I'm, I'm gonna do it on the lower setting, but I feel like I just wanna kind of like get rid of some of this peach fuzz, prep my skin for my birthday weekend because I didn't really get to celebrate my birthday yet. So, but this thing is amazing if you haven't tried it and your makeup looks so good after you do it and your skincare like just like sink, sinks straight into your pores. The real most important is the blemish and age defense serum that I've shown you guys before. This saved me in the sun, this Biba moisturizer, but then I did just serums last night. So I'm definitely gonna do this, but I'm gonna do a lot of the Dr. Dennis Gross light mask because that has been keeping my skin just like so under control. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Self-care, 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 self-care. You get it. After an airplane, I drink at least like four liters of water. I don't know if that's a lot or not, but that's just kind of the average. And then for some reason, I forgot to run my dishwasher before I left. So I'll show you guys some of the cute dishes and where they're from. The marble cheese board from West Elm. It's literally so cute. And we've been doing cheese on it. We've been doing just like fruit and dips and like guac and stuff on it. My girlfriends have been coming over a lot, even though I don't really have a lot of furniture. They literally came over the night before I left. These cups that are literally so freaking cute are from from CB2, this one is kind of like a golden yellow. And then this one is like a more like tortoise shell. And I honestly thought they looked really cute just like on display because I don't really have that much stuff. Then I got these plates from West Elm and my mom and I thought it was cute to do like a rectangle plate instead of just like a traditional plate. And they kind of have this nice like eggshell look to them. And I got the matching bowls. Oh, I really like this one because you put this in and it actually has a place you can pour from. It looks kind of like a measuring glass. And and I put two things of Saqqara detox tea in it. And instead of drinking it hot, I just leave it overnight and make detox iced tea and put some squeezed lemon in it. And it's so good for like deep bloating and post traveling and just like feeling better. And like, it also just tastes really good. So I'll definitely leave this out. And then just gonna clean a little bit. Access. 
everything is clean and put away. I still have to do my eye cream. See that super lift and the Ole Henriksen one? They're such a good combo. And then I haven't even put my jewelry back on yet because I'm too lazy. But honestly, my skin doesn't look that bad. I just have a lot of freckles. I swear on my life I wore sunscreen. Got camera over there. This is literally just my carry-on, my book. I have to empty my dishwasher. I have to unpack whatever's left from my suitcase. Just have to make my bed. That should not be on the floor. That was my birthday celebration last night. Some snacks in bed while I watched Grey's Anatomy. <laughs>